For example, an anomaly in Uranus motion was explained using Newton's laws, which further increased their authority. It was hypothesized that the cause was an unseen planet. Using Newton's laws, its position was predicted with decent accuracy, Adams was slightly less precise, Le Verrier slightly better. Fifteen years later, observation accuracy improved, revealing another planet. Another example is Mercury. Its orbit was slightly anomalous. The ellipse itself slowly rotated by 43 arc seconds per century. This is how well astronomers can measure. You know, it's amazing. It's simply astonishing to realize this happening with the ellipse while sitting on the moving Earth and looking at the sky at these barely visible points. It absolutely astonishes me, especially Mercury, which is almost invisible because it is so close to the Sun. Listen, did you know that the ellipse of Mercury's orbit actually moves through space much faster? Its axis shifts by about 550 seconds per century. You have to subtract the effects that are understood, the gravitational pull of Venus, Jupiter, Earth, and so on, and a tiny fraction remains, less than 10% of this motion. And they still weren't satisfied until they found an explanation. It's amazing, it's true. I keep forgetting about this. Thank you for reminding me. In fact, the discrepancy was roughly 10 times larger, and it was initially explained using Newton's laws, the influence of other planets. They subtracted everything they could, and a tiny fraction remained, naturally leading to the hypothesis of another unseen planet. This planet was named Vulcan. Why? Because, in modern terms, it's a hot super-Earth.